The bike is made of chromoly steel, which is pound for pound stronger than standard steel. To prepare the bike's tubular parts, including the frame, a worker cuts steel tube with a horizontal bandsaw into specific length pieces. He then clamps certain frame pieces into a milling machine, which will cut a curve into one or both ends, depending on the piece's location in the final assembly. Once all the frame parts are ready, a welder clamps them in a fixture, which correctly positions them for assembly. He works with a welding torch in one hand and a rod of filler metal in the other. The torch melts adjacent tubes at their meeting point so that they fuse together. To put the bicycle together, the worker suspends the frame in an assembly stand and then inserts the bottom bracket, which will ultimately support the bike's drivetrain system. The bike's fenders are made of sheet steel that's shaped with pressure applying rollers. The rear fender attaches to the rear drop mount and a fender mounts at two other locations on the frame's rear triangle. He screws the cargo rack to middle and rear rack supports. Then he inserts and bolts the rear wheel into the rear dropout. The wheel hub has three built-in gears. The hub and rim are made of aluminum, which is lightweight and doesn't rust. The wheel spokes are stainless steel. Next, the worker installs the drivetrain system, inserting the crank arms, already mounted to the chain ring, onto the bottom bracket. He tightens the bolts securely with a torque wrench. Workers then insert the fork into the bottom of the head tube and chrome-plated steel handlebars into the top mount, the front fender, and front wheel. Then install the pedals, vinyl seat, chain, and chain guard. With the gear shifter and front brake lever on the handlebars, this steel bicycle is ready to hit the road.